Here's how simple machine learning can be. We can build a model that reads handwritten digits in under two minutes using Python. We'll use the famous MNIST dataset, a huge collection of handwritten numbers, to teach our model how to recognize digits from zero to nine. First, we import tools from Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and Pillow. You can get them by running pip install scikit-learn tensorflow numpy pillow in your terminal. Next, we load the MNIST dataset using the load data function, which is conveniently split into a training set for teaching the model and a test set for quizzing it later. For the training data, we use 50,000 images reshaped for X-Train and Y-Train, 10,000 for X-Test and Y-Test to have a good combination of test and training data. Here's the key trick. Each image is a 28 by 28 pixel grid, but our model needs a simple, flat list of numbers. So, we reshape each image into a single row of 784 pixels. This flattening is how the model reads the pixel data. Now we create a random forest model. Think of it as a team of 50 decision makers, or trees, that all vote on the right answer. This makes the prediction really accurate. We use the fit function to train our model on 50,000 handwritten digits. After training, we test the model on 10,000 digits it has never seen before. We calculate the accuracy to see what percentage it got right. That's incredible. Finally, the fun part. We create a function to test with our own images. The function loads an image, converts it to grayscale, resizes it to 28 by 28 pixels, and flattens it just like our training data. Then, our model predicts against our converted image using the random forest classifier model and tries to suggest the digit instantly. When we run this, we see the model's accuracy and the prediction for our own handwritten numbers. Let's test it on our own images, like 1PNG, which has an image of a 6 as input, which the model got right. Now let's test it on a second image, where we get back the digit 7, which is right as well. And the last run is on image 3, which gives us back digit 9, which is right, hell yeah. And there you have it. We built a powerful digit recognizer with just a few lines of code. Simple, fast, and no complex math needed. Follow for more.